Hello followers, and welcome back to Feed the Beast and in today's episode we've got some good news I dug a branch mine and I found some diamonds I've actually found a lot of diamonds there is some diamonds right here there is some diamonds down this shaft and down this shaft as well so plenty of diamonds I also mined some up so that we now have five diamonds so that I can make the enchantment table and we've got some veins obviously to mine up hopefully we get fortune or silk touch so that I can mine them up and uh, either stash them away or, or get them into their actual diamond form. So in addition to that I've also been exploring ways of making leather in Feed the Beast and we're going to do a little bit of that with some rotten flesh in a moment here and I've also got some regular leather as well. So, but before we do any of that my sword is almost broke so we need to make a new sword. Let's see what do we got here. I think I'm gonna make a ruby sword this time round. Do I have any sticks anyway? I don't think so. Uh, so we'll just make some. Here we go. So we'll make ourselves a ruby sword. Uh, does that do more damage than that? I guess it does. So we'll have a bit better sword than we did have. So now what we need to do is make a diamond pickaxe. And I have some diamonds, I think. Yep. I have two in here, and I think I have three in my branch mine box. So let me get the three out of the branch mine box, which is right here. I've got a lot of ores now, as you can see. Uh, cobblestone and all different ores, a lot of redstone. So that's definitely really handy. I spent some time clearing out areas of the mine shaft nearby, and I've gotten some ores through that as well. And if you haven't already noticed, I've kind of reorganized my farming situation. I've got a tree in here and uh, made this base a bit more usable and a bit more user friendly so I just did a little bit of that too okay so let's make ourselves a diamond pickaxe I already have a water bucket ready to go collect obsidian uh, that actually does more damage than that but I know that the uh, the peridot doesn't break obsidian I don't think maybe that's something we should try out so here's some obsidian right here that doesn't look like it's breaking obsidian no, it is. That's not breaking any obsidian, that's for sure. So, where do I want to put my water bucket? Maybe there's a crystal right there. We'll do it right here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some obsidian here. We just need the four for the enchantment table right now. Uh, here we go. This is gonna take a little bit of time. Get one right there. We'll pick that up, and we need three more. So here we go, finally getting this enchantment table which is well overdue, this is going to be really handy. Also having access to diamonds now means I can go to the nether quite comfortably with enchantments. I don't know what's in the nether, I'm not sure uh, whether we'll do that today or not. I'm kind of, I'm at a little bit of a loss really because I could do a number of things now that I have access to enchanting and the main two options are I could go to the nether and try and go for brewing or I could try and build an XP farm with that cave spider spawner that we've got nearby. I have enough supplies either way to do either, I think, and I'm kind of leaning more towards the XP farm situation so that I can get some really good gear to go to the nether, as I'm not entirely sure what to expect when I get there. So, uh, let's see here, we've got some diamonds in this box, and we have a book in here. So uh, I assume that the enchantment table recipe hasn't changed in Feed the Beast and it's still this. Boom, there we go. Achievement get enchanter. Now where do I want to put this thing down? I'm kind of, I'm leaning more towards over here maybe for the bookshelves, but there's kind of a staircase in the way there. Um, <clears throat> maybe, uh, Ah, there's that there. I was thinking maybe insetting it into the floor. There we go. And I could do some enchanting, but we're not going to do that right now. We're going to build up uh, some bookshelves. So we're going to need our books, we're going to need our leather, and we're going to need a, a decent amount of wood. So let's get some wood together as well. Now, I looked at ways that I could make um, leather. And if we go and just type in leather here, I never know why it does that. Uh, for some reason I need to figure that one out why it just reorganizes all your inventory and I find out how you craft leather you can see here that uh, there's a number of different recipes but we're mainly interested in this one right here with quicklime from reactor craft so 
Quick lime and zombie flesh uh, can be put together to make leather. Uh, you could also, in a redstone furnace, cook it up. And I believe if you click on the quick lime, this is how you craft it. You need the calcite crystals, which we have a ton of, and mimichite, and that will give you quick lime that way. You can smelt it, and you'll get one quick lime. And you can put it in a re redstone furnace, alloy smelter, and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the furnace. So where is my uh, calcite crystals? There they are. There's some. And I bet you I have some more down here. Uh, they're fairly common from what I can tell. Uh, there's some that I've not mined up on the staircase. I actually don't have any in here. I uh, may have to use the uh, Mimichite method to get enough uh, for the 45 leather I'm going to need. We'll investigate a little bit of what's up here. Here's some right here as well, so we should probably go mine those up. I'm actually going to put how many I've got on my bar. I'm not sure if you can get them from the, uh, the fluorite ore or not. Not entirely sure on that one. A couple more right here as well. Got 12 now. Let's find out. Can you get them from that? No. That's um, other types of fluorite crystal. Which is fine. I think I have some stored up here. I could be wrong though. Let's see. What have I got in here? Nothing in there. Or in there. Ah, there we go. I thought I had a load of them. They're in there. Okay. So... We already have so many of them, um, so, so I have seven books already, and we need 45 books now. I've spent one of them on the actual table, so now what we need to do is do a little bit of math here and work out, well, what's 45? Uh, take away seven and take away three, because we have these three leather, which is fairly easy. It's 35, so, <coughs> excuse me. Um, we need to cook up 35 of these so let's see if I was to do those that would give me 32 so let's get 35 I want to kind of be a little bit efficient about it um, I don't really want to uh, waste a piece of coal like that so we'll cook up 8 to begin with uh, like that and then we'll toss some extras in so I don't have any coal in here, but I do have some in one of these chests right here. There we go, we've got some coal. That actually has some in. That's just that, and that. Just this furnace then, that doesn't. So put a piece of coal in, we'll cook that up. And the same thing will go in here. And in here. And lastly in this furnace as well. And we will get quick lime from that. So while that cooks up, we can be looking at uh, this here. And one other thing I want to look at is actually some backpacks um, that we can use. So while that cooks up, we can take a look at that. Uh, I believe it's from Better Storage, that mod. Let's see here. Uh, backpack, Better Storage, Ender Backpack, Thaumaturge's Backpack. Uh, we've got some Railcraft ones, Project Red. Um, and then backpacks from the actual backpack mod. Um, that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, so, let's take a look at what this is then. We need leather for that. Um, so, we can't really craft that right now. We do need wool and a gold ingot. I could definitely do that. What about the backpacks from the actual backpack mod? Uh, let's see. What do you need? Leather, and you surround it in a type of dye. Okay. So, there's that type of backpack. Uh, we can't really craft those, I don't think. Um, and uh, we can't really use that one either. So, we're just going to have to wait until we get some leather for that, I think, before we can mess around with the backpacks too much. So, we've actually got the quick lime here, and just while we were looking at that. So, now, how much was that again in terms of leather? That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I need three more, so that would be ten. So I guess we will uh, we'll put five each in a furnace, maybe. Uh, and that will do. It's kind of a bit wasteful with the coal, but I'm not too worried about it. So if I put this together with the zombie flesh, I should get leather. There we go. And we're going to convert all of that down into leather. I have no use for zombie flesh anymore. 
and we can turn the leather into books wherever my sugar cane is now stored there it is right here and whip up some paper real quick just like so in fact we will be able to make a lot of paper out of this and we can do something a little bit like this and how many is that going to give me? 49 that's definitely going to give me enough books for sure and we can put the leather in there we can get the books, we're three books now short get the quick lime out of here here we go and I do need to cook up a gold ingot, I may already have a gold ingot smelted but if not I'm going to use the uh, the last bit of juice in the furnace here in order to get that so we need to put this and then that together to get the four whoops what happened there did I uh, put the wrong thing in oh, give me that back uh, where does my rotten flesh go did I drop it somewhere I'm confused now where did the rotten flesh go <laughs> I'm confused. It's not in my inventory, is it, or am I just missing it? Because I've got the 42 books. Did I put it away by mistake? No. My rotten flesh just disappeared. <laughs> I didn't put it in the crate, did I? Did I put it in here? No. How odd. Okay, that's a bit disappointing. I'm worried that it may actually still be here. It's just a client side glitch. Is it maybe in where the chest is? No. Missing zombie flesh. Not normally that useful, but on this occasion it actually is. Um, I don't know where it is at all. Um, I have a feeling I'm actually just missing it in my inventory. Uh, whoops, backpack E. That's not good. Yeah, I don't know where it's gone. And it's not nighttime out, so I can't exactly get any more easily. Uh, or did I just craft it into the leather and not realize? I don't know. <laughs> I know I had some leather left over. I guess I must have used that and it went through as crafted. So now we need to make the bookshelves. There we go. We've got the librarian achievement. And we can uh, put this around here a little bit as well. There we go. It's going to encroach on this a little bit, but it's not going to be a big deal, I don't think. There we go, get more of this, whatever type of stone that is. There we go, and we'll clear this out as well in order to make the enchantment table work. I'm going to put some cobblestone in here. And let's surround it with the bookshelves. Now, I'm not sure entirely if enchanting has changed somewhat. I probably will make an extra bookshelf at some point. For right now, I'm just going to move this one. And I'm going to recraft it up using some wooden planks. I don't like the way it just looks with a random gap there. There we go. So I'm not sure if this has changed in any way. Uh, it doesn't look like it. So I assume then that I, it still works the same way. If I put this diamond pickaxe in here and give it a level 30, then I will get the enchantments on it. I'm not entirely sure if there's new enchantments that you can get on pickaxes at all. Uh, but I guess the only way to discover is by putting it in there and trying it. Oh, no, that's not really what I wanted. Um, it's not a bad pickaxe, but it's not particularly what I wanted in order to mine up those diamonds. Um, I have 25 levels left. I'm tempted to probably hold on a little bit and try and go again for Fortune or Silk Touch. I mean, those diamonds aren't really doing anything where they are, so it's not a big deal. I'm going to put these away the time being and I guess we'll uh, resort the chest put that away the dirt and now what I want to do is look into making that backpack but I think I'm actually out of zombie flesh in order to do that so is there any other ways I can make leather I don't have a way of essencing it right now no not really um, so we need to go kill some zombies for that it is night time though, so maybe we can head out and do a little bit of monster hunting and uh, can get rid of this sword and move on to the next one. I'm actually going to have this on my bar so that I can switch to it once this is gone. 
because as soon as I hit something with this once, it's going to break. We might also get enough experience as well to have another go at enchanting a pickaxe, albeit that it won't be a, uh, a diamond one right now. Saturated up. Looks like it's just become night time and the moon is rising. Creeper over there, he will be my first victim. I'm mainly looking for zombies though. I see one coming for me. There we go. And we can start and use our ruby sword. Just gonna put that in a, the correct slot. So this has 496 uses. I think that will be plenty for what we need. See this zombie down here. Let's go for him. Two hits, not bad. Oop, I hear a spider. So if I critical hit pretty much anything with this, it's two hits. Three hits if I don't. So it's about the same as a diamond sword. Is it? It's just a little bit better, I think, than a diamond sword. A diamond sword does seven attack damage. And it will two hit spiders no matter what. So that's always good. I think it does nine base damage, which would mean that two hits on a normal monster would bring them down to two HP. But the critical hit obviously doubles that. So that's important to know. Um, that's very useful. Definitely a better weapon than we have been using, that's for sure. So what do we got here? An enchanted bow skelly. There we go, we'll kill him. Oop, I'm taking some armor durability damage. Oop. Pick up these bones and arrows, they're going to be useful for sure. I may have to brighten this a little bit for YouTube, it seems a little dark, but that could just be me. I do have my brightness all the way up. There we go. I like this. I don't know, is there any point enchanting a sword with this, unless I want to put unbreaking on it? This is a bit better than a diamond sword, albeit that it doesn't last long enough. There we go, got seven rotten flesh. I think that's all the rotten flesh I need, actually. But I will get some more while I'm out here. In case we want to build anything else with leather, and also for the experience. So, an enderman over there. I don't want to really take him on though. There we go. Kill him. There's a skelly. Let's go for this skelly. It really critical hit him there. I kind of want to see what kind of work this makes of enderman. Four hits, maybe? There we go. Four hits on an enderman, which is pretty good. Hello, got an iron sword there, buddy. It's certainly not going to be your day. My armor's not doing so hot, though, is it? Certainly the helmet. Oh, he's got a punch bow, I think. Let me, uh, yeah, he's got a punch bow. Looks at an enemy, apparently. There we go, finally. Go in. And get some bread. What are we up to? Level 27? Almost level 28. You never know, we might be able to get a second level 30 in today's episode. That would be pretty nice. Really, I only need a critical hit once, and that's enough. 376 uses still. I do like that little usage bar at the bottom. Oh, this is Creeper Town over here. You know, I have a flipping bow and arrow. I don't know why I'm using not using that. That's a pretty darn good bow at that. Oh, more Creeper Town. So if I do that and then that I could critical hit you and that would be enough I think without the enchantments let's see come here buddy yep it is uh, somewhat at least that's pretty useful to know level 28 there we go I'm getting a bit reckless now in the way that I'm killing all these monsters. I really shouldn't be like this. Got plenty of arrows. Oh, I had to rush him a little bit there, which is not what I like to do with creepers. Yeah, I thought he would go. That 
that's fine. Skeleton. No, don't blow up. Couldn't hit him there for a second. I guess I must have got my time in a little off. So we're up to what? Level 29 almost? Once I kill this creeper here for sure we'll be level 29. So I, I think almost certainly we should be able to get another level 30 here. With all the zombies that are pouring in. I killed the skeleton. Oh, I keep blowing up. That's not good. Wrecking all my terrain. And that's not very nice, even though I am building underground. This makes it really hard to navigate. Hey, zombies. How are you? So probably once we've got level 30, I'm going to go inside. And uh, I thought it wouldn't be long before I saw one of you clowns. There we go. And we're in the version where if we die to one of them, I don't get my stuff back. So that's going to be something to watch out for. Almost at level 30 now. So let's go kill the skeleton in his gold armor. And he actually drops some. Fire protection two pants. How nice of you. And we're at level 30, so we can go and do another pickaxe enchantment and hopefully we can get fortune. Yeah, he's gonna go, I thought so. There we go, we could go back underground again. We've got some more zombie flesh, so that's always useful. Uh, surprisingly useful, it might be worthwhile building a zombie trap down here with that spawner I found, just to give me lots of rotten flesh. Okay, so... What do I want to make my pickaxe out of? Maybe rubies, possibly? That would seem like the uh, logical thing to do. There we are. And I think we've probably almost got enough for an episode here once I've enchanted this. So let's see. Oh, I'm breaking three. Dang it. Well, that's all my levels gone, so it's almost going to be certain that next episode we need to build an XP trap. And hopefully we can try and uh, get fortune that way, or silk touch. I don't want to mine the diamonds up regularly, because that would be a big waste. And we don't have a whole lot of diamonds right now. So next episode will almost certainly be a case of we are going to be working on a trap for the cave spiders so that we can make use of enchanted a bit more. But for right now, I hope you've enjoyed today's little episode. I guess before we go, we should take a look at the backpacks. That was one thing uh, that I neglected to do when we can put these seeds and whatnot away, and mob drops and things like that. So what was the backpack again? Uh, leather, wool, and a gold ingot. I have the gold ingot. I can make a piece of wool out of the string. And I have the correct amount of quicklime I need to combine with this. And we can put this leather in the crafting grid like this and shape it. And that will give me a backpack for better storage. Sneak and break to equip. Sneak and right click ground with empty hand to unequip. Press B to open while equipped. So I assume then that you put the backpack on there maybe? What is it, like a portable chest? I mean that's what I would think it is. Does it have a durability? Doesn't seem to be. I don't know what uh, the 225 actually means. Sneak and break to equip. Ah, there we go. And what did it say to get it off me again? Sneak and right click. There we go. So now that backpack would be equipped. I get it. Now if I break this, this is not lost uses, has it? Nope. And I can put it down and fill it with items. That's a pretty useful thing to have. Oh yeah, now I put it on. I'm going to shift right click and I have my stuff back. But if I break it normally, all the stuff comes back into my inventory. That's important to know. 
So with this backpack then, uh, does it say, what did it say to do? Uh, press B? Ah, there we go. That's pretty useful actually. It's like having a double chest uh, when walking around. And that would be very useful for when I go on cave-in trips and stuff like that around here because I find so many ores. Uh, oh look, you even I thought you would. You have it on. That's pretty cool. Oop, that's the chest. Here we are, my little backpack. I thought it might show up on here where the, uh, the backpack thing is, but I guess not. Pretty cool stuff all around, I have to say. I like that. I like it a lot. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, guys, and I hope to see you next time. And we'll build that trap, and then maybe after that we'll head down to the nether. So, until then, guys, see you later, and have a good day.